unless something crazy happens later as the time takes off 15 seconds and they still have not got that front wing on. They made the adjustment. Of course, they have plenty of fuel and that just killed Justin Wilson's day. A pit stop that lasted about three times longer than a normal one when they got the uh, nose wing, the nose finally on the car. Here it is once again from Ryan Hunter Ray's onboard camera. Watch the contact there between Alex Lloyd and Justin Wilson. He tried to abort. I know he saw the opening and a lot of times when you go by a lapped car and he knows and that's him saying you got to get those lapped cars out of the front. We're trying to race for the lead here. What are you guys thinking? <laughs> you are clean I think. You gave the clean version of that. <laughs> that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> There'll be no X-rated version of that. Well now Ryan Hunter Ray has a four and a half almost five second lead on Will Power is a bad break for Justin Wilson, drops him back. So now it's Hunter Ray, Power Canon, Briscoe, and Dixon in the top five. We saw a non stop on versus a couple of pit stops, one by Dario Franchitti and by Ryan Briscoe, both back out there on the racetrack. And now, Robbie, we see the leader coming in, Ryan Hunter Ray. That looks to be the case. Patience is a virtue, and that was the case for Ryan Hunter Ray. His crew has a set of scuffed. Black's ready to throw on this high zone car. And as I set it up, you get a look like a tear, tear off. Clean vision. They got to get a full load of fuel. They take off a clean start, Jack Carew. Good job for Ryan Hunter Ray's crew. Again, cheers from the crowd around him. Ryan Hunter Ray pulls off as they continue to work on Will Powers' uh, car. He lights it up, gets the traction, and now he races at 60 miles an hour to the end of pit road. Wow, I'm somewhat surprised they both took blacks. Yeah. And well, Elliot Castro Neves is not. <laughs> exactly. This, that's what I would want. I would want that he's got the brand new set of reds. That's what I would want to finish the race. But maybe what they really like is the life of the blacks and just guarding against any fall off with the softer reds. I can see it for Ryan Hunter Ray, but Will Power is still playing catch up. So uh, very interesting. It's nice. That's what you want. You want the end of the race with a mix. I think we're going to have a mix. The lead goes to Tony Kanan with the first two making pit stops. So TK inherits the lead. That's got to feel good. Yeah. It's taking him a while. <laughs> Off the corner there of he, he will come into the pits. See what his tire choice is. Again, you know, the drivers right now, this is not a time where they can relax. They got to come in here, they got to hit their marks, maybe get a quick drink out of their drink bottle there. They're watching what goes on. He's going for blacks. There goes Hunter Ray. Yep. Graham Rahal coming out of the pits. Oh, uh -oh. oh, but see, Graham, yeah, but see, Graham did that. Graham did that on purpose. That was very nice job of driving. He knew the leader was coming. He didn't gas it, leave in the pits, and he let him go. Yep. That was nice. And there goes Rafa, Rafa Matos by him on the inside. You know, that's when it's not your day, don't mess up other people's exactly. day. Yep. Nice job, Graham Rahal. Kind of and it, it will come always. back to him. There yep. will be a time in his career where that will be repaid. There is Scott Dixon, who has the lead now. We'll see if he peels off here. Put the power down, he's gonna peel right. Sure enough, he was peeling in. Here it is once again, as the leader came quickly under Graham Rahal. Yeah, see, he swung wide, giving him room, backed off. Yeah, nice job of driving. Yeah, and, and Rail couldn't do anything more. He couldn't park at the pit lane. He just went slow. Dixon makes his pit stop, and the lead goes back to Ryan Hunter Ray. There, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. He also goes for blacks. Coming into today's race, Ryan Hunter Ray had led a total of 33 laps in his Eyes on IndyCar Series career. Today, he has led 37 and is in the lead. The pit cycle is over. It is now Ryan Hunter Ray, power Mike Conway, who has not made a pit stop. But Ryan Hunter Ray is in command here in the streets of Long Beach on Versus. We'll be right back.
The first full course caution is out at Long Beach. It involves a two car accident involving Graham Rahal and Mario Romancini. It's in turn number one. And Graham has had a few words with Mario as Mario continues to sit in his car. Not a happy person, Graham Rahal, after making a very sportsmanlike gesture when the leader, Ryan Hunter Ray, came under him. He gets taken out. And here's the replay. Here's what happened. Into one. Wow. That was a late dive bomb there. Yeah, because what constitutes a really clean pass is pull up alongside him. Yeah, he, and he just poked in. you got to yeah. be up alongside the guy to take the corner away. You can even see Graham check the mirror, then turn, then powie. Yeah. And, and look at how he see. takes Man. his yeah. hands right back Took off the hands. wheel. <laughs> yeah. And then just the wheel went It's a good way to break your wrist if you hold on, and he didn't. Look at this, look at this again. Okay, so you're here, all of a sudden, you feel pow. And then your brain says, oh, I'm gonna hit. Get my hands off the wheel. Why? Poof. I mean, that, that right there, yeah. that's gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's what, you know, we haven't really talked about, but Tagliani got in the wall in practice and it yanked the wheel and hurt his left wrist. Mm -hmm. He got his hand stuck. Stuck yeah. in that wheel. So imagine just a little bit of tire swing when it flings that wheel like we just saw on, on Graham's car, it can hurt. I had prepared information about how this was going to be the second time in five races that we were gonna run without a caution, but not so. But, but it's great news. People who are out of it are now back in it. One of them, Justin, Justin Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. Okay, Will Power gets to close up behind Hunter Ray. All of a sudden, who cares if you save fuel? All right, this is what you want. And, they've, and, are, they've already stopped, then they can go for it and have a shootout on the streets. And it's what we love. You you can't predict anything. That's <laughs> expected. Not expected. Expected. That's right. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> there are now 24 laps to go in the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. 36 years of history being written once again here at the streets of Long Beach for the Toyota Grand Prix. Great crowd on hand, and it has been an incredible race so far, and far from over, 62 of 85 laps completed. And with this first caution, the field is going to be bunched up for what we hope will be a very exciting finish. The Grand Marshal of this event, Mark Wahlberg, and he is with our Jackaroo. Yeah, Bob, he's down here at the IZOD Performance Pit Center, and he brought his posse with him, or his entourage, as I like to say. And I thought they were coming to see me, but they've been traveling with you. Grand Marshal of this race, what are your impressions so far? Oh, this is awesome. You know, he's got my four-year-old son out here. Uh, it's our first race together. He's ecstatic. I mean, the excitement, the level of uh, intensity here is just insane. Care to pick a winner? You know what? I like Team IZOD. I like Team Izod. You know what? I like to see, uh, you know, my boy Hunter Ray. You know, these guys are uh, these guys are incredible. I actually golfed with him. He came out to my golf tournament. Um, but uh, you know, I'm just happy to be out here. This is awesome that I've gotten to be a part of it. Mark, we're happy to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, buddy. Okay. It's the best. Take care, All right, <laughs> guys. That's one of the neat things about coming to Long Beach. You get to see some uh, movie and TV stars. Some of which, of course, raced, as you pointed out, Robbie, in the Toyota Celebrity Race yesterday. Some of them not, uh, well, not all that impressively. <laughs> yeah, some of them had a little bit too much speed going into turn one. Yeah. But that's an event that the fans just love. Oh, yeah. The history of that, that's part of the, part of the appeal of this race is to, to see those celebs get behind the wheels and, and challenge themselves to do in battle on the streets. Yep. Graham Rahal's battered car is being lifted from the racetrack. We should be going back to green here before too long. And Alex Tagliani was off sequence, of course. We heard him, uh, the fact that he had a bad first pit stop, and now he does have the uh, fuel to go the rest of the way. Now, and it he... puts him back up, Jan, as you're about to say, but here's one thing Rob Edwards studies where cautions come, and he had told me before the race, he was uncertain because he said, you know, in the last third of a race here at Long Beach, only 11% of the time has a caution come out. This time, he went against the odds, and it's benefited him. Yes, unfortunately, he had to give up Jack 11th spot, and when he says there was a problem in the first stop, what that means is they didn't get all the fuel because when they first stopped, they were well within the window of